Hey guys, how you doing? Hello everyone! We are back! Yeah, it was yeah. actually kind of strange to sit in front of the camera again, but exactly. we're back in New York following our trip, so yeah. thank you to everybody who's been watching our park adventures. We had so much fun on this trip. Fabulous, we had, oh man. It was the best. Yeah, it was the best, we had a great time. And thanks for those that watched and you know followed along with us throughout our trip. Yeah, it was really, yeah. it just added I don't know, I had a whole different dimension, like filming throughout our trip and then yes, yes. it's been amazing like reliving it all, making the videos every week too. So, yeah, so it's been fun. Like, week by week we got to experience it again. Things and for me, us. who was editing over and over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> but I love it, it's fine. <laughs> so our video today is just gonna really talk about our trip. Yep. Um how everything went and you know, maybe what's coming up next time, we'll, we'll see. And as far as our trip goes, uh, again, we're, we're here to say thank you for watching. Yeah, it was and, awesome. And uh, we had a great time, you know. Uh, it's a new experience uh, going back there from being away for a while. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of new... Disney's always changing, they're always upgrading something, adding mm -hmm. new things. And prior to me going there, and she, she went there a year prior, uh, Disney Springs has opened up. Oh yeah, you haven't seen Disney Springs I have not or seen like it. the town center part. Yeah, that that big shopping bit. You know, it's like and of I course all it. the other restaurants as well. Yeah. So that's all new. So that was awesome. Yeah, we also learned just before our trip as well that we were going to be saying goodbye to a couple of things as well. So it was announced. I think either the week before we left or two weeks yeah, that Wishes show. was going to be Wishes going away. Gone, yeah. So that added like a whole new experience to watching Wishes, just knowing that it was yes. going to be the last time. For me it was it was pretty emotional, but yeah. it was it was good to watch it and really, really take it all in knowing that we weren't going to be seeing it again. So Yeah, so we had that, memory. Wishes was going away, we we found the new stuff in Disney Springs. There were new things like Animal Kingdom had the new show, the, uh, the nighttime show. Oh yeah, Rivers of Light. So the Rivers of Light was there. So the other part that was new was the Animal Kingdom Lodge. We've never stayed yes. at the Animal Kingdom Lodge before. Well, yeah. I hadn't, you technically had. I have. Uh, since my family's DVC, they were there last time when I was still working there. They visited me and I got to stay with them in the lodge. and. This time we both got and to both got reap this. the perks yes. of DVC, which was awesome. amazing. So we were staying at Kadani Village. We had a one-bedroom villa. Uh, we That's did nice. put a video up on our channel, actually, um, of a tour of the room. So check that out if you haven't. It was the most incredible hotel room that I've ever, ever stayed in. I liked it a lot. So you were already there, weren't you, when I arrived? Yes, um, it was. Yeah. I was just like in awe. Like it. For, for, from the off from the offset really. I mean you walk into that resort and it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. But as soon as you get into the room, it was it was just huge, wasn't it? It was big, but that it was, was so just, huge. There was two of us to enjoy one huge giant resort. Yeah. Was, I felt like it was a waste. So we had a friend come over once or twice yeah. and just to hang out, but if we do it next time we'll probably not throw a party but you know make make, yeah. make better use of it. With that said, I think in the mornings, we did make use of the room. We had breakfast in the room every day, every day where you yes. cooked. Mm -hmm. So we had this big kitchen and we could sit at the bar, which was really fun. Um, and then we started this new tradition where we'll do a dance <laughs> before we leave the hotel room. So we had a party, just the two of us, didn't we? Um, and the bathroom was amazing. There was like a big jacuzzi bath, which was really cool. Um, and yeah, it was it was just very, very impressive. It was mm. Disney service at its finest. So. Yeah, too bad we couldn't spend a little longer than we could. Yeah. Because, you know, staying in a resort with the amenities it's something that you want to take, you know, advantage of as yes. well. You know, they have pools and they have lounges, things that you can do. And obviously we were on and the go, like 24-7 yeah, really long days. 
Yeah, it was like every day we were there for only four days. Yeah. And so we had every single day was planned to be on the go. So we had to do this, we had to do that. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. So maybe next time we'll yeah. spread out our holiday. Maybe. Well, our last night we did go back, even though we weren't staying at Kadani Village on the fourth night, we went back there and this kind of leads into the highlights of our trip. But yeah. I mean, that last meal at Sanaa, can we just? Yeah. The bread service. Yeah, I mean, we loved it. that was the best meal that I had the and, whole trip. And that was like an uh, appetizer. It wasn't the bread service? Yeah, yeah, it wasn't even a meal, but it was like the best thing that we had. We loved it. Mm -hmm. I liked so. Um, yeah, uh, so what are we really talking about now? We, um, as in what the other highlights stuff, did you have? Highlights? Actually, everything that's new was a highlight to me because mm -hmm. uh, living there for about five years, I everything was kind of like you know, you see all the time. Yeah. So everything new is always something fascinating. Right? I always enjoy it. I enjoyed the projection show on the castle, the new one, mm -hmm. which is, uh, I don't know. Once Upon a Time? Once Upon a Time. Because magic memories in me was before that. Celebrate the magic. Celebrate before the magic. That. Before that. <laughs> and magic memories of me was before uh -huh. that. And the magic memories of me was my favorite because that was the one that you know, I the first one I've seen. Mm. And you can actually text you know, hashtag and get your photo up on the castle uh, if you love. Yeah, I love but, celebrate. I love the music and celebrate. Yeah, but I like the magic memories. <laughs> but I I enjoyed the castle show. Yeah. So that was a highlight. Um, highlight again, staying at the Kidani. Mm -hmm. It's always a highlight to stay in a resort, a Disney resort. Yeah, and, and the transportation, of course. Yeah, of course. Take a, take a advantage of, every, of everything that they have yeah. to offer. Food wise, I, I guess my highlights are everything that's new, like eating at Skipper's Canteen. Yeah, Although, that's good. I wish it could have been better. The food would have been, could have been better. Mm. Yeah. Um, we tried homecoming. Homecoming was still not the best, but it's good. It's a fun experience. It was, you know, yeah, yeah trying new things. Another one like um, being in front of in the front row of the Lion King show by accident. You know, that was good. That was funny. That was but, cheeky. <laughs> um, things like that. That was that was my highlight. I, I, I probably shouldn't make a list, but see what I like. Anything else? One of my major highlights is just the way that we do our days and I feel like we fit so much in that like I think one of my favourite days was the last day and we did Disney Springs in the morning and then we took the boat trip from the boardwalk wow. over to Hollywood Studios and then we went to have dinner at Sanaa back at Animal Kingdom Lodge. So those days where we compact a lot of different things and travel to different places I love. Um, we went to Trader Sam's for a drink there, that was really fun, and we watched Wishes on the Beach. Yeah. Um, so we decided to leave Epcot early um, and not watch Illuminations, knowing that this was one more last chance to watch Wishes again, so we did that. Um, I, as I said, Sanaa was a real highlight. Disney Springs, having sprinkles like on the water, oh, that was awesome. The weather was amazing, wasn't it? Oh, it was it? beautiful. We didn't really... We, we missed the rain. Yeah, we were uh, so, so lucky. We got very lucky. In very so lucky. many senses as well. Yeah. Like, I feel like we didn't really queue for a ride, like, at all. I think <laughs> the longest one that we saw that was, it was like 40 minutes for Frozen. Oh, it? yeah. And it wasn't, was well, it 40 minutes or was it 30 minutes? I don't know. No, I think it was meant to be 50. We only queued 40. Yeah. And it was so worth it. Yeah, it was. That was a highlight because we've never done that before. It was. Um, yeah, what it. else? Um, obviously, all of Magic Kingdom all the time. And Got seeing to our see friends the, as well. Yeah. You know, seeing our old friends that are out there. Um, you know, enjoy the life in Disney. Yeah, this was the first time that we went back and I was like, could I come back here again? work here again? Yes, is the answer. <laughs> but it made it very tempting. Um, and I feel like I'm missing some some like things from my highlight list. But anyway, we documented it all. Oh, just the little things, like as we were saying, we're getting lucky, like stumbling on the band playing in the storybook circus. Story circus. Yes. Uh, that was incredible, wasn't mm -hmm. it? That was a real highlight. Um, there was a lot of little instances like that. The trolley show. I really wanted to watch that because I haven't seen it for a couple of trips. I mean, that's the thing. Like, we've got it all on video now. Um, 
And like I said in the beginning, it was a different experience having, you know, documenting it as we went around. So you did most of the filming. I did. I did. How was your experience different with a camera in your hand the whole time? It was tough. It wasn't tough in the sense that I had to do something hard. Mm. It was more of trying to juggle things. Like I want <laughs> you want to catch every bit of the trip that is you know worth to be yeah. caught on tape or on video. Um, so I wanted to shoot everything, but at the same time I also wanted to take photos. So I'm taking pictures with my phone, videoing. Uh, recording, you know, vlogging on my camera, and then, and then trying to enjoy it at the same time. So it was a lot of work, but I still had had fun. Yeah. Like it didn't take anything away. I you know? agree, and I was worried about that. Yeah, I thought I might have moments of being like, oh, can we just enjoy it rather than do yeah. it like behind a camera? But it didn't. Yeah, it didn't really take it away. It's like uh, yeah. I, I enjoyed the shows while filming because you know I'll, I'll point it at it and. I watch it, you know, sometimes I'll look down into the camera just to see that, you know, everything's on focus or in frame. But outside of that, I still enjoyed it and that was the best part. For me, as much as I wasn't doing a lot of the filming, I think it made me a lot more aware of the details. Yes. And like, look out for those little details that we, having spent so much time in Disney parks having lived there ourselves probably would have been like oh like we'll glance over this detail this time around whereas I don't know it really made just pay attention and open our eyes I think to be like oh that's that's something really cool to document and exactly. yeah I think it just made us go at a different kind of pace and just take it all in and I think that's part of the enjoyment that I had. Me too. This the one thing that we gotta talk about is that this is our first time vlogging yeah, we're definitely not experts. <laughs> we, we are not vloggers yet, or we wish, you know, this is what we're trying to do. So, uh, in in hopes that we can do this more often, we want to improve. Yeah. So, from the time we got back from our trip and we started editing, we noticed flaws in, in the way, or I noticed it, we both noticed it, that flaws in terms of how we shot the video. Yeah. So, this is something that we need to improve. Like. In, in the whole series of this, you know, everyone's more familiar with my chin than my face. I was gonna say, you guys will probably be very familiar with this character who appeared in many of our videos. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I feel like it was less noticeable as the days went on in the videos. Um, I think, well, first of all, you became conscious of exactly, because I corrected you in mm. one of the scenes and you were just like, oh god, have I been filming like down here all the time? But Yeah, because uh, you, know, you have to get a certain distance, but I think it's, since we don't have an actual screen or, Yeah, or we have no monitor. We don't like to have a flip monitor, so we have to point uh, the actual lens to our camera, like, to our face. <laughs> So, so we weren't used to that, and uh, which is fine. We have to get used to yeah. speaking in front of a lens, not. In front it was of fine a for me because where he was holding it on his what? chin, it meant that I, my heart, like so my she head was, was in, in frame. Yeah, she was always in frame, and I wasn't. But that was the thing. It's like, first off, <laughs> before any of that, yeah. um, filming in public is tough, or, or at least consciously, it's tough because. You know, you are surrounded by other people looking mm. at you or in your head. I've never done it before, you had. I tried, but it, it, it's still one of those, it, I'm not comfortable with it. Or So I think that was one of the reasons why I didn't want to carry the camera yeah. high enough to where people attention. see me. Yeah. Yes, it draws attention. So I felt that maybe if I left it lower <laughs> and tilted the, the camera or the lens up a bit, it would actually catch both of us, but that, didn't, <laughs> that wasn't the case. Yeah. So. And as the days progress, it was more comfortable, you know? And uh, I think it was just, that's what it was. My, uh, in our heads or in my head, you know, people are going to stare at you. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, you know, I think now it's, it's acceptable because a lot of people do it. Yeah. But it's still new. Yeah. It's new to us. So. Yeah, definitely. But that brings in like you know the difference between actually you know making a, a, a video for 
a potential vlog compared to just filming your trip for yeah. a home video. Um, exactly. And really it comes down to just talking to the camera, right? That's the big that's, difference. That's it, it's like another person. I, I think that's what it is. We are, it's another person I'm talking to the camera and explaining things that we would normally say to each other. Yeah. Or, you know, we would think. Oh. So it makes you... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Articulate the experience. Mm. Rather than just experience, just experience it. it. Yeah, so you have to put it into words. And I think and that, that can be um, difficult. <laughs> but at the same time, trying to do so, I think it gives us the experience in a broader sense because we are consciously looking for things to make uh, our experience better mm. for film. Mm. Or, you know, we want to catch everything on camera, so we want to look for for things going on and for us to experience that is something better for us because then we actually have a good time so it's a win-win you know yeah so like said, we enjoyed the whole filming portion so so yeah so more that's the come. thing uh, more to come we don't know if we're gonna upgrade to another camera we will in the future i don't know if it's gonna be for the next one but for now we will need to learn how to just play with ours yeah. so. We love our camera. Yeah, but like we said, John did most of the yeah. filming, as you noticed, he was usually the one with the camera. I did a little bit here and there, yes, but awesome. for the most part, you had the camera. I was taking as many photos as is humanly possible in those four days. Um, and then I was tasked when we got home of putting up the weekly videos and editing them, which has been a really interesting experience. So. Again, like I said, we don't, we're don't. we definitely not experts. Um, I've never even used a Mac before, let alone any editing software on a Mac. So I've, I've been using iMovie pretty, pretty easy, I'd say, to get to grips with how it functions and how to do different edits and things like that. So really it's, been, well, it's been pretty painless. Um, I mean, there's been difficulties with some of the footage. Obviously, you can't edit John's face back into some of it and we noticed just in terms of stabilization a lot of the shots as if John's trying to like capture things really quickly you might get a bit nauseous watching it but I'd try to like edit that out but if, it's, if we're talking over it then I kind of want to keep that in it's just something to to be aware yeah, that's, of yeah for, that's what we're talking about next like, time. you know whenever I'm speaking I'm gonna move somewhere I want to make sure I'm done speaking to the camera yeah, so, absolutely. We'll do that. Again, things that we got plan out, we'll, yeah. we learn it's as we go. first time, so. definitely. But even outside of just like the filming aspects, I feel as though actually editing is the first time that I've ever like watched myself do anything um, and watched you do things as well. And it made me really aware of things that I didn't know that the two of us did, like little nuances mm -hmm. and habits. Yeah. Like, finishing each other's sentences <laughs> and <laughs> I kind of got annoyed yeah. at myself like he any time that he was trying to convey something or articulate something to the camera mm -hmm. and was like that just couldn't find the word I'd be right there like I, just, I get annoyed I'm like just let him talk <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean yeah uh, I'm, I guess I'm just so used to it now that's it. but she also has the dog effect if any of you guys <gasps> Uh, noticed and that. I had no idea that I did that because I think I've got quite a high attention span I can concentrate on things oh my goodness if there is uh, if you don't know what the Doug effect is squirrel <laughs> well, you'll notice like throughout the series that we're just be talking and all of a sudden she disappears because something caught her eye or like he'll be in the mid like mid speech and I'll be like oh look at that over there <laughs> so it's like I don't know if I do that in everyday life. You're good, like now that we're conscious of it, you'll have to tell me. But it might just be Disney. Much, it, it could like, just be Disney because there's like so much to see, so, so much, much to take going in. On. Like, oh yeah, this. Oh, yes, that. Yeah. Like, where'd she go? Yeah, and there is like an instance in our Epcot video where you actually lost me, and I was like the other side of the fountain by the time you located me. Yeah. And yeah, I just seemed to wander off, and I wasn't aware that I did that. I, <laughs> I think I'm very distracted. <laughs> But there you go, yeah, that's something I learned. Yeah. Yeah. I think <laughs> watching it back, I mean I probably learned this on the trip, but 
I learned that, that I expect you to go a million miles an hour during oh. the day, it's the same way that I yeah. do, and it's, it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, I didn't sleep. <laughs> To do. There is, but you know what? I, I don't regret it. You know, I, I think it was for for the time that we had, it was much needed. And yeah, I, I don't know if it's I don't think it's prevalent because we feel necessarily, but we would have thought it anyways. Just yeah. we'd like longer next time because our last few trips have been over a span of a few days. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Uh, our my the thing was the vacation was a, a long one for me. In the sense that I had weddings and other stuff outside. This was kind of like right in the middle of other things that I had to do. So maybe next time we will actually focus more on the trip on itself. Definitely. So talking of next times, next one thing times. obviously is, you know we are back now. Our we are. park videos are edited are all up on our channel. So yes. please do go ahead and watch them if you haven't already. Um, now we are planning our next trip. We are. And our trip is gonna be on the other side of the country. On the west side. So to Disneyland! To Disneyland. So our plans is sometime in July. Mm -hmm. uh, not exact dates yet, but we will be doing Disneyland California Adventure. And who knows, we might try and do some other Disney stuff there as well. Yeah. So that's something to look forward to. Yeah. And then with all the new additions to Disney World coming up, I mean, like, obviously Pandora, people were going to the soft openings now, the announcement of Happily Ever After, the new fireworks show. We're gonna, it won't be long before our next Disney World trip either. Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna do a, I think we'll do a holiday one. Or, we, 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 we want, the best, okay, my opinion, best time of the year to go to Disney World is, the transition from October to November because you get there at the end of November right before Halloween October. In, uh, October sorry right before Halloween you enjoy all the fall festivities you have food and wine going on um, Halloween stuff going on uh, for people that like to go to Universal there's Halloween Horror Nights so yeah. that's all that and then as soon as November hits Christmas time and Disney all the Christmas stuff will be up. Not all, but you know, you'll see the transition. You can even do Mickey's Not So Scary and then go to Very Merry, Very Merry Christmas within a span of one week. So that is the best time to go and who knows? We'll probably shoot for that. In the meantime, we will be continuing to do our weekly videos, so um, we're gonna do yeah. a bunch of stuff. Yeah, um, we're gonna uh, be gonna be doing some more games. Lots of games. Okay. <laughs> I like games, so we have games that we're gonna play, you know, if you wanna learn more about us, you know, like they have some of those you know, twenty things about us type things that we can do. Yeah, I have, have a couple of ideas. Um I'd like to do a what's in my park bag video. Um also I'd love to take you guys on a Disney tour of New York as well, like little landmarks and interesting points of interest, all Disney themed. I think that would be quite cool. Yeah, there's, there's a few things that we can uh, I've been saving this for a while, for, <laughs> for a few days, and uh, I got a hold of about 50 different postcards from, dating back to uh, the 50s when Disneyland opened. Yeah, they're really, really and, cool. And um, they've all been written on as well, so... There's some blank ones, but there's a lot of like you know, Disneyland, Mickey, right? And uh, you can see people's stories. And I think I want to share some of yeah. the stories that people experience. So that's so, it's interesting to see. This one's know. dated 1982, just that's for reference. Um, so we're going to go through some of these and just share the stories. And we thought it was really cool. 63. That's cool. See, so it's, it's, so Disneyland think... had been open for eight years then. Yeah, so. So that might be a fun video as well, just to share 16. some of those with you guys. We had a lot of fun when we got those. It's awesome because then you look at the characters. It's yeah. Really so stay and tuned. there are some blank ones here that I can probably send out. 
Yeah, we'll do a fun so. giveaway. We did um, a cool giveaway quite recently for our Instagram. This was our three prize giveaway for three milestones. It marked um, hitting 100 subscribers on YouTube, our first 2,000 followers on Instagram, um, and it was our 200th post in that same week. Yeah. So we will be doing more giveaways, so stay tuned. Maybe those postcards will be incorporated, but yes. it might be a fun, well, it might be something fun to do if we just do yeah, it by YouTube not? next time. Um, if you guys want to see us do something, you know, you can always comment, let us know, yeah. and uh, we will see you then. Definitely. And thank you again for watching us and keep following. There's yeah. more to come. Definitely. We're excited. So weekly videos every Sunday as per usual. If you want to see all of our park photos and photos from this trip and past trips, check out our Instagram, <laughs> which is never never growing up. Our uh, Twitter, Pirates Pixie Pan. Yeah, and then we will get our blog up and running soon. Yeah. But I'll let you guys know when that's up and, and live. Live. So until then, thank you for watching and we will see you next week. See you later. Bye.